These are the voyages of SV Prism. The crew on board are searching for exotic landscapes and foreign cultures as they sail their 33-foot sailboat beyond horizons. But it's still freezing. As you can see, I'm in a beanie still. I thought mainland Mexico was warm. Not the case yet. I think it's like January 3rd or 4th. It's nice to be cruising. You don't even have to know what day it is. I don't know what time it is. Sun's up. It's sometime in January 2016. But anyways, we uh, have been awarded this gorgeous sail to Topolo Bombo. The moment we got to round our offshore uh, waypoint to make sure we didn't run into a sandbar, the, the wind just kind of kicked up a little bit, probably to a nice 10 knots. We get our new used Genoa up, full main. Life is awesome. Making coffee and eating of leftovers? Mmm. Coffee and leftovers. Coffee it's, smells good. It's the simple things on a cruising boat in the morning after a passage. Mm -hmm. How did you do last night? I did great. I mean, the. I mean, it wasn't rough swell, but. There wasn't enough wind to keep us going down, just to keep us steady going down the swell. So it was rocky and pretty annoying, and the the sails kept getting the wind left, you know, knocked out of them. So that was annoying. But other than that, it was comfortable. I just feel bad for our poor sail. No. This is two passages without a shower. No, two. My hair is really gross. Well, my hair is awesome. Mm. My hair is no longer hair, it's just grease with stuff holding it together. Would you like some peach juice? <laughs> <laughs> Say that with a straight face. <laughs> I gotta get my peach juice. Santa Barbara was a beautiful anchorage and it is one of um, the last beaches I feel like we're going to see in a long time that have not been overly visited, untouched, unchanged. It was nice. And really well protected considering, you know, almost everyone says that there isn't really good anchorages along this coast. I thought that was a great anchorage. Yeah, it was very... Uh, so. Now we're sailing this sucker in. Might as well. Jeez, you can't motor as fast as this with our boat. Jeez, gorgeous day to sail. Well, you can see that there is a nasty... Uh, we, we call it the... Uh, the boat jaws of death right there. If you ran your boat onto that, there's no coming back from one of those. That's just pure rocks and hell. Probably really good fishing though, but not a good place to park the boat. No, no definitely not. That's the equivalent of like those things that, at the bank that you can't back up over. That's like the equivalent, but like super sized. Wouldn't want to do that. As we closed in on the entrance to Topolobampo, the wind surprisingly stayed with us, and even more surprisingly, it did not clock around to become a headwind. The Mark Channel entrance into the bay is cut through the center of a large sandbar. 
most sailors steer clear of Topolobampo due to this bar entrance. But rest assured, this was an easy bar crossing due to the dredged channel. We just made sure to keep Prism between the buoys. past the first few markers, it became clear to us just how large this bay was. The large mountains surrounding the bay make the town invisible from the outside sea. It was like walking through a door into another world. After sailing all the way to our anchorage, we looked back after settling down and saw our friends on Oleada making their way in using the last bit of sunlight. The desert landscape we were accustomed to was now changing into green shrubs and thick mangroves. This was a new side of Mexico we had yet to experience, and we were excited to be here. Topolobampo is primarily a shipping port and naval base, but also is home to over 7,000 people, making it the fourth largest town in its municipality. The peninsula of Topolobampo is home to the shipping port, the naval base, and the yacht club. This area is famous for sport fishing, and because of this, the marina and yacht club were filled with fishing boats of all shapes and sizes. One of the best parts of this bay is the relatively calm waters it has. With only light breezes in the mid-afternoon, it was a prime area to bring out the paddle boards. The red paddle boards are easy to inflate and a great piece of gear to have on board to help stay in shape. With around 100 miles of combined shoreline inside the Topolobampo area, and with much of the water under two to three feet, stand-up paddle boards are perfect for exploring. Yuli, Jess and Josh's dog, comes along with us whenever we are out on the boards. He is constantly jumping off and running to shore to look for the latest dead thing to snack on or roll in. The mangroves here house a complete ecosystem of birds, reptiles and mammals. Being on the virtually silent paddle boards, you can get much closer than usual to these creatures without startling them. The high mountains and strong mangroves to tie to, Topolobampo is a natural hurricane hole. Even with the security of this natural safe harbor, storms still claim the occasional boat. After spending an entire morning and most of the afternoon on the boards, it was time to explore a little bit of town. There's no beach to land your dinghy to get ashore for an anchored boat. So it's a quick dinghy ride to the marina where you can pay a fee or just make friends with the employees and leave your dinghy tied up. So we're good, didn't even make us pay. Sweet. Omar, nice guy. So we're only staying two or three hours, but you know how time is in Mexico. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and I don't think he's gonna be working another too much Where are we going, Shan? Who knows? <laughs> Out and about. Where are we at? We are in Toto Labampo. Topo Labampo. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't say that right. <laughs> Topo Labampo. Also known as the, the Greek Isles of mainland Mexico. We oh. haven't seen any uh, proof of that yet. But you know, there's still hope. kind of a hilly thing going yeah, on here. Yeah, maybe. Nice. Minus all the white buildings, but yeah. you know, the blue kind of roofs. approximating. It's yeah, it's no. Mexican Greece. It's more Greece hey. than downtown oh LA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would say Catalina has more Greaseness. Definitely.
Topolobampo is a full-fledged town, and with cruise ships making almost weekly stops here, the town has shifted its priorities to make it as safe and easy to explore as possible. The sidewalks in Malacan are first-rate, and even the infrastructure for the homes were a notch above other cities we had seen in Mexico so far. With the light fading, we made our reservations at the restaurant that overlooks the bay for the following night and made our way back to the boats. The next morning, we woke up early to make our way over to the south side of town. In order to get around the peninsula and to the other side of the bay, you must retrace your steps to nearly the mouth of the bay to reconnect with the other channels. The water in the bay is a murky brown, with no telling distinctions for depth variance. So you can imagine our surprise when our decision to take a shortcut that we thought we saw another boat take put Prism hard aground in the soft, sticky mud. Luckily, with Prism's underbody shape, a grounding like this does not stress the hull. We simply waited for Oleada to come by and pull us off the bank. On the other side of the peninsula, the bay once again opens up to another 10 mile deep bay that is completely concealed by the mountains guarding it. This bay is deep enough for large keel boats to explore, and it is reported that some boats come here and lose themselves exploring for weeks. We found our spot, dropped the hooks, and prepared for a night on the town for Josh's birthday. After piling in Oleada's dinghy named Sandia, we all headed for the shoreline of town. On the road again. You know, I love how those guys came out and just cruised around. Oh, yeah. that way. After securing Sandia to the green break wall and climbing our way up the fishy steps, we managed to get on shore, where we hoped the dinghy would still be there when we got back. I didn't bring any type of... Uh, you could probably weary it from here, though. Oh. I, can't, I can't take a picture of that. Yeah. There you go. There you go. You could weary it from here. If it's, yeah. if line it's of sight. Line of sight. You got line yeah, of sight. Was, your boats are right there. I mean, um... We can have a little bit of a little bit of a Jamaica? De limonada. Oh, solamente en limonada? Ajá. Limonada está bien. Sí. Limonada? Sí, por favor. Okay. Gracias. We are at Chicho's restaurant in Topo Labampo for Josh's birthday. And we just got our cervezas. Cheers. Maybe it's some Happy focus. Birthday. Yeah. That's gold. It is nice. <laughs> mm, beer. Frijo, muy frío. And it's it's very warm tonight, which is nice. Mm. We had a great little dinghy ride over and tied our dinghy like right there so <laughs> it's great now, are those our boats out there? oh yeah and the two bright lights out there are our boats surrounded by alpongas pretty cool this is giving me a, a jittery butterfly feeling guys this feels this feels like cruising <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time i've had a cruising we're doing sensation. it we're doing it we're doing it dude dude <laughs> Funny how other, uh, having other people around makes it feel more valid. More oh, yeah. valid. Like you're witnessing this, I know. Right? Like by ourselves, we're like, wow. Like, oh. do, do you see what we're doing? Do you see what There's we're doing? Trees. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, all kinds of kind of good stuff. What is this? Uh, food. <laughs> Come here. What, do you remember what it was called? Uh, this this was the the tacos de camarón. Oh wow. But the mix down like the barbecue. Oh, I can't remember what she called it. It was barbecue or something. Yeah. I can't remember what she said for the mix. Mm, you, you, it's something I had never heard. You you filled it in for no, me. Oh, and Josh was mm. the only one who seemed to catch it. Pick up on Let's that. Get a close up on that. Sing. We gotta sing, or we gotta, it's gotta be going while it we has, sing. Yeah, so we have to sing probably pretty rapidly. Yeah, so probably pretty okay. quick. Okay, ready? Yep. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Josh. Happy birthday to you. Good job, Billy. Good job, Good Derek. job. I know, that was so exciting. <laughs> hey, that actually worked pretty good. I know. More turn Who I think it's How many bucks? Less. Fewer? <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey that's, <laughs> is that for you? I'm like, I said less. <laughs> is that for you? I was like, oh, I see what she's doing. Topo La Bampa was a great experience. We had a lot more footage, but because of an unfortunate error on John's part, he accidentally formatted a card while dumping the footage underway to our next anchorage. Oops. We would urge anybody that wants to voyage here to stop in, stay, and explore. Next time on SV Prism. We leave Topola Bampo for the overnight passage to Altada, where we find ourselves falling in love with the Mexican culture. The four of us attempt to do our own trailblazing, only to be overrun by thorns and mosquitoes. But upon further exploration and actual trails, we walk to the coastline, where mansions are literally falling into the sea. We then try our hands at collecting clams to have a clam bake-off, and are invited to go shrimping the authentic Altado way. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, follow us on Facebook and Instagram to see the newest updates on where we are right now. The show is funded by viewers like you, so if you like the show, consider becoming a patron so we can continue making the show in the future. For more details about Prism, Camera Gear, and the crew, go to svprism.com. Thanks again for watching, and like always, fair winds and following seas.